hello everybody welcome back um so in today's video it's almost hurtful to me to watch her be so dumb right beds of a feather confuse their owners beds of a feather flock together <laughs> i was joking before um show me your friend and I'll, I'll show you your character okay so if your boyfriend has friends or your husband has friends who cheat and you've been around them and you've seen how they behave when their wives or girlfriends are not around hmm. girl you need to start investigating okay because <laughs> chances that your your man may be a part of it is very high if you enter a family right where like your boyfriend's brothers are cheats okay they cheat they have multiple girlfriends don't think your boyfriend is an exempt okay anyway a lot of people responded to this let's get into the video <laughs> Okay, story time. One of my ex's friends was a guy who was always in a relationship. And the only time he would break up with his girlfriend would be if he cheated on her. And then he would get into a new relationship with the girl that he cheated on his girlfriend with. I remember my ex told me this and I immediately gave him the side eye because like if you can be friends with a guy who does not see a problem with not being loyal or committed to his partner, it's because you also don't see a problem not being loyal or committed to your partner. Meaning you might do that to me because your friend is doing it to his girlfriend and it's like you would think that they would stop to think to themselves oh if my friend cheats on his girlfriend he's not loyal to his girlfriend what's to stop him from being not loyal and unfaithful to me they don't have that thought because they don't even focus on those values that's why we say women's friendships are so much deeper than men's friendships because we actually care about the smallest principle of things the smallest principle of things matters to us so if you violate the smallest principle you get cut off that's like the violating the entire friendship but men are not focused on the smallest principles because they don't they don't even make friends based on shared principles they make friends based on mutual interests and time that they've known each other like 11 years 27 years however long that's what they care about they do not care about values like honesty loyalty commitment respect self-discipline because if they did if you were truly a guy who valued those things you would not be able to to be friends with someone who doesn't also value those things their behavior would gross you out now i don't know if i ever got cheated on because i never went looking for that information and i encourage you to not go looking for that information okay but regardless i should have gotten out of that relationship right then and there and i didn't and that's where i messed up and so i'm telling you this because i want you to know that birds of a feather do flock together and if his friends cheat he also cheats okay that's all Take it very much serious when the man you're talking to has cheater ass friends because 10 times out of 10, he's also a big ass cheater and you don't need that type of shit in your life. Talking about some, oh, well, you're not married, so technically you can do what you want. Um, no, that is not true. You are committed to me. If you say you're my boyfriend, if you ask me if you're my boyfriend or to be my boyfriend and I say yes, you might as well pack it up because we're not doing that. We real over here. We 100% over here. We do not play about our mans. And you're not going to play about me. No one, I'm not going to play about you. you taking your past traumas. Oh, there's no way a girl could be 100. You got to have hoes. No. Like, I'm bomb as hell. Of course, motherfuckers is going to think I'm cute. That doesn't mean I have hoes. Like, do you want to date somebody ugly so you don't have this problem? Like, I don't understand. You talking to me because I'm cute. Now you can't trust me because I'm cute? The math is not math and you know it. Men, or rather, should I say, boys, be so influenced and in needing the approval of their homeboys so bad. Like, do you like, do you actually like the girl you're talking to or is you just bored? Like, do you need to get your shit wet or something? Like, do you not have play so bad? Are you in such of a drought, a big drought that you have to just tag on this innocent girl who really gives a fuck about you? Whole time you don't care? And if that man's friends be like, 
oh he like you for real he really fuck with you for real like you don't want for real girl run that man hates your fucking guts he literally hates you he, he hates you so much actually they screaming twin for a reason girl i promise you i promise you <laughs> If all of his friends are dogs and cheat on their girlfriends and sleep with girls all the time, guess what? He's doing this. Let's talk about it, you guys. Never in a million years did I think I would get cheated on. Why? I'm secure. I never thought that about my partner or anything like that but he would come home and say oh my god i can't believe my friends did x y and z and when i confronted him i said why do you hang out with these people he would say oh because they're my childhood friends i can't just dump them and you have to think about it you are who you hang out with so if he's allowing that he's probably the ringleader of it all Things men will never tell women, but are very obvious. He can introduce you to his whole family and they will 100% hide the fact that he's cheating or any other toxic shenanigans or antics that he may be up to. As handy as they may be sometimes, they're the last people you want to seek answers from. Like you're better off seeking answers from his ex. That's, that's how far down the list is gone. They just become super used to it, so they just expect it at this point. But there's, there's more. But it doesn't just end there. A way that you can tell that there's another woman is by the reaction of the family when they first meet you. Like a lot of y'all tend to wonder why their family was so underwhelmed when they met you. And I know it crosses your mind. It seems almost as if they didn't care, right? In a lot of cases, that's just because they're used to it. You're the used to girl. But a lot of y'all become convinced that since it's their first reaction, it must be their genuine reaction. Nah. But if you do think they were underwhelmed because they don't care, you're halfway there. Mm, you're like woman 2319. At this point, you just got a number hanging on you like a criminal in a lineup. But that ain't the worst part. Because they mama be hiding it the best. They mama will hug you, smile in her face, knowing damn well she already got a favorite already. Oh, you didn't know? The family already has a favorite, and it's not you. Oh, they don't call it a roster for no reason. They got to be players on it. You ain't her, and his family just as grimy as he is. And you can't cry to them neither because they already picked their favorite. That's how used to it they are, and his family are some amazing actors too. Like, if he's Leo, then his family's the whole cast of Titanic. Let's speak some straight facts on a Sunday morning. Most of the time, if you find out that your man is cheating, the mama and the sister already knew. <laughs> How about that? The family already knew. They already knew. The, the son then already went and talked to his mama. The son then already introduced the girl to the mama in some kind of way. The sister, even if she likely like you, the mama then told the sister. The sister done caught wind of it. Sister may not like it, but the sister still knows about it. But she's not just telling you anything about it. Yeah. Most of the time, that's what people don't want to talk about. The real deal. How the family be knowing that this man is cheating on you before you do right you a lot of times the woman is the last one to know or whoever's getting cheated on is typically the last one to know because that man then already had that woman around and all kinds of things that is absolute facts yes they will help or at least hold the secret mm-hmm they have this thing in Ghana where they used to say that, you know, boys will be calling you our wife, our wife, because you are cooking for them. They are eating your free food, but they know that your man is cheating on you. It's either he's, he's hiding it from them or they all know about it. Your supposed mother-in-law knows about it. Your sister-in-law knows about it. They all know about it. So keep your eyes peeled and keep your ears open, okay? If you enter any relationship with any guy whose brother's you know change women like they change gloves they don't have a problem talking about it most of the girls that come to the house don't know each other or know that you know they are in serious relationships he has one of the friends has a side piece you know start doing your investigation don't exempt him because he says he's not like that okay and most of the time they are the ones who condemn it the most oh that is bad it's a bad idea my brother is like we've been talking to him but he doesn't listen my friend we talk to him we're trying to advise him but he doesn't listen he's lying he's lying he's trying so hard so you don't suspect him but is it that he's good at hiding it that his relatives don't know about it or 
each and every one of them knows about it they enable it they condone it because they are also like him okay even down to like their sisters okay <laughs> even down to their sisters i'm sorry and they'll be there saying our wife our wife our wife your wife who okay stop investing your time your energy and emotions into men who are not committed fully to you and keep your eyes your ears opened mm. and another thing you need to bear in mind is you may actually come in contact with the woman he's cheating on you with and he can lie that it's one of his friend's girlfriends okay because now he's made you comfortable around the idea that his friends cheat or his brothers cheat and so when the woman comes to the house and the woman is aware because some women well they don't have any self-respect they don't mind being the side piece okay that's and they are bold enough to come because they think they still are conditioned that you know they are the better women and they will be bold enough to come in there just to show you that hey they are better than you okay they, they love competing with other women so they'll probably bring her around you okay or there may be pictures in the mix where you know all the siblings are sitting with that girl and then they'll tell you, oh, that is that girl's, uh, that is uh, uh, my brother's girlfriend. But they are lying. They know that that is your man's girlfriend. Mm. So our wife, our wife, <laughs> our wife. They so let me know about what you think of all of this in the comment section. Have you experienced this? Do you know someone who has experienced this? Are you a part of the people who know when, you know, their boyfriends are cheating on them and you don't tell them? Like, are you a girl's girl or what? I would like to be told so if you're one of those girls who sit around and you know you condone you are you are part of the problem you are an enabler i'd rather tell you what i saw and have you do whatever you want to do with it mm -hmm, than stay quiet and pretend i didn't see anything because it will be hard for me to not say it. i'll say it okay but anyway let me know about your experiences if you've had or if you've been in a situation like this and um, the year is coming to an end and thank you for all the love and support that you've shown me in this very short period of time. I'm really appreciative of it and I'll see you again with another video.